Look, look at these three lined up perfectly for a screenshot. Oh, come on. I need you to look up. Thank you. Hey guys, Gunshy Mori here with another video. And today we are hatching up the best dragon eggs I could find last night. So the one lightning wyvern egg I was able to get, I hatched up. And so I've been using this lightning wyvern here to go into the trench and get more eggs. Now, I didn't want to have to show you guys me diving into the trench and killing wyverns to save one, like, 190 that I found every two hours. So I just did that all last night. I'm really tired. Now we're going to hatch the eggs I got. So I hang on, I've hung on to the best eggs I could get. And, yeah, this one here I am going to have to change the gender on. This is the fire ones here, yeah? Yeah, this one got 41 in stamina, 42 in melee, 41 in health. Now, these guys aren't going to be, like, as well in health as those guys are, but they got 39 in health, 43 in melee, and 40 in stamina. That is for the lightning wyverns. Now, for the poison wyverns, we got 39 in health, 40 in melee, and we got 40 in stamina. Now, I got to do this a smart way. Which is, seeing how I can get, I can get milk from the lightning wyverns by milking, or from the wyverns by milking them. It's just you don't get a lot. Now with that four milk, which is going to very, 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 very soon turn into three, I need to find one of the females to hatch here. And I think we're going to start with the lightning wyverns. So we're going to hatch, what is it, number two? Yeah, number two. Come on. Why is this buggy? Oh, I think I've broken my mouse here, honestly. Okay. You guys click. All right. I don't know what it is. It's just something with the eggs. It will, like, when I hover over them. Is it... This is the info card? I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna hatch number two. Boom. Welcome into the world. You're our second lightning wyvern. Now, come on this way. Again, I don't have to worry about any, uh... What are they? Oh, yeah, I need cryopods, because these guys barely move. I don't have to worry about... What was I not having to worry about? I completely spaced it off. This is what happens when you do things, and you're really, really tired. Oh, yeah, I don't have to worry about the imprinting on them, because these guys are just going to be the base... Base dinos. Any more females? Alright. I got two poison wyverns that are females. So, you... Come on. Patch up. Okay, we'll imprint on you. And now we'll cryo you up. And I'll move you somewhere where I can grow you safely. Okay, so now let's just... I think I'm just going to toss you guys out here. I forgot you guys, like, come out, like... 15 feet up in the air. Ooh, there you go. Now, I think you two should be fine over here. I can hold off here on a little bit on feeding you. Um, let's get this other wyvern. Ta-da! Thank you. Welcome to life. Okay, so I think we're going to wait here a minute. And wait until they really need the milk. You know what? I nearly forgot something here. I technically can just let them feed themselves, and I don't have to wet, let the milk spoil at all. So I can save this for milk. This is a tech tech feeding trough. It It's legit a fridge. So now that will last me another hour and a half. And as soon as these guys can eat out the feeding trough, which should be here really soon. These guys are all like at 9.6, 9.9, 8, 10. Yeah, this... Lightning Wyvern just hit level 10, or number 10. So at 10%, all baby dinosaurs, I believe, will start eating food because they'll swap over to Juvenile. There's a moth approaching. And it's actually a really nice looking moth. Okay. I gotta kill it because I don't want it to kill my dinos. So basically, I don't want to overwhelm myself with wyverns just yet. So we got these ones in here. Am I going to actually have to go and, like, give them the milk? 
Are they not going to eat it out of the... I wonder. Huh. Also, these guys don't get startled like I thought they would. I think that's something uh, better dinos change, because I can legit walk up to that guy and he doesn't get startled. So, I guess we can, we can have moths around. These guys are also really nice. I like the moths. They, they just... I don't know. Something about them seems just squishy. Where was that Jeroboa? Oh, 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 I'm out of berries! Okay. Crisis averted. Um, but we did just lose a dino I needed. Uh, it's alright. I These two are the parents. As long as I got these two, that one was alright. As long as it wasn't red. We need red. Okay. Uh, they just ate three of the milk. Can I get more out of you? Yes, I, I got one. That's why we need more. Goddamn Sabretooth. Now all these wyverns are flying around. Oh no, all my juvenile wyverns are running. Okay, okay, you two are okay. Where's the other one? I've lost one. Alright, no, you're up there. Okay. Ah, oh, I forgot to whistle passive on these guys. But if, if I didn't, that, yeah, Archie might have died. I legit was AFK, came back, and everything was scattering. <laughs> okay. Let's leave you here. Um, t -t -t -t. My Jeroboa defenses don't want to work. I need to put up walls. Alright, all you guys need is Wyvern milk. You want to cuddle. Okay. So, having you guys follow me won't do anything. What is going on with you? Okay, how about you? Do you got any special needs or something? Mr. Lightning, you just want milk. Okay. I just want to make sure that they wouldn't get any imprints if they followed me. So I want these guys now back over in here. Because I know that there's a spike wall there and I got a good lot of stuff in between me and them. Alright, one of them's stuck on Gunner, it looks like. wonder if I could pick up a baby. No, I don't think I could pick up a baby wyvern with Gunner. I think just in the sense that it's a wyvern, it won't let me. It'd be, like, stupid to try, even. Alrighty, these guys are now fully grown. I think it's time that we go and hatch up the males. So, I think I just want to... I want to just go with all of them, I guess. Because I can do legit, what I'm going to do here is just, we're going to get milk from all of them now. Okay, I don't get milk from you just yet. How about you? Milk. You? Milk. Thank you. That's five milk. Now that's a good start on the feeding of these wyverns. So, there's, a nut, there's six there. That's one each of them. So, I think they'll be fine. What is that sound? Oh, it's that. Oh no, red! And here are our three fire wyverns, which look really awesome. And here are our two lightning wyverns. They look quite similar. I wonder if they got, like, the same parent. Because if you don't know, the egg just depends on the parent's level, and it will take the colors from the parent. That's about it, I believe, that the eggs do. They might get stats as well. I'm not too sure on that, though. Then we have this poison one, which isn't bad, alright? It's... I feel like the poison ones usually get a lot of browns in them. I'm glad... Or, well, not a lot of browns. They don't usually get a lot of browns in them. They, they get a lot, a lot more greens. And I like it with the brown. But look at these three lined up perfectly for a screenshot. Oh, come on. I need you to look up. Thank you. Thank you. Got my screenshot. Okay, so we got these guys all out. I'm whistling passive now. So none of these guys should spread out. Um, I really need to go check the area and clean out some stuff. Because I even see terror birds nearby. There we go. One of those guys looked really cool. He was like a dark blue with a red. 
There's another terror bird up here. I gotta clean out. I just gotta clean house real real quick. Cause I really don't got a defensive perimeter up except that. And it, it I'm watching it right now keep out two predators. <laughs> like actively. So I might put up another one over here. I don't I wanna I want water side access. But I need to build that way. Probably for water side access. But I need to block that side up. And there. We got a wall built and I got four extra to spare still. I wonder where I could put these. But anyways, that should help keep out thorny dragons like that one over there. That's honestly going to do nothing, but it might help keep away some predators. Or just confuse them enough to keep them from entering. Alrighty. Since we have all of these guys on the ground here. And out of the cryo frid. Or out of there. I think it's time we start working on Moa. Oh, there's a bunch of wyverns in my way. A Moa. We're going to start packing this thing full of guys. So... Let's get me an Iguanodon first, because I'm going to need berries out the butt. And with an Iguanodon, a very useful creature I would also need is an Overraptor. Now, I normally would put in Fiomia, but with the poop collecting guy, he gets every dinos. So, I really don't need him. I just need to get a place to set up uh, fermenting bins, which might be on top of the yellow one here, which is the fairy pen. I got the feeling something's incoming, because Red's making noises. What does that mean? Sandstorm. I think that means sandstorm. I really hope it's not a sandstorm. Did you guys have an egg yet? Thank you. Now I get these guys cryoed up and thrown back in the fridge where they're safe. Gotta protect the genetic lottery. Uh, they're make they're all making noises, which really is telling me there's a storm incoming. I wonder what it, I really hope it's not a sandstorm. I like please. Everyone's making noises. Okay, let's get these guys in the hatcher. Uh, I'm gonna just throw them in two different hatchers, so that way I don't have to worry about temperatures. They're probably the same temp as well. Watch. Twenty six, twenty eight. They're really close. I could have probably thrown them in the same incubator and been just fine. Do I get more milk from you now? Yep. I mean, they're starting to eat it, but we got like 15 milk in there now because it's starting to build up faster because they're not eating it faster than we can produce it. We're producing more milk than they're eating now. Alrighty, both these guys are ready to come out. This is... The, what? Overraptor? Yep, you're the Overraptor. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Then my Iguanodon. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, you guys... It's just, yeah. I don't know what to do with those three triplets. I don't got ammo. I'm also thinking I might want to move my egg thing more in now. Because that's now on the unprotected side. It was a heat wave. Of course. Anyways, I may as well try and do that now. Since how I'm not worried about anything, really. And I don't have to worry about power. Because I got, again, my tech generator brought over. That's my range. I didn't want to show my range. I wanted to pick it up. Up, pick, pick them up. Okay. Um, you know what? Where are they? There they are. Got them. No, no more worrying about those guys. The fact I can just place these guys on dirt is awesome as well. I think that's a setting I have turned on in S plus. I love it though. It's really helpful. Oh no. Oh no, that's Deodon. That's a Deodon. And it is in the perimeter. Come here. Okay. I was set I was legit just setting that up and then I spotted that guy. Not how electricity really works, but hey, if this is the way you want to play it. I mean technically every single thing in this lake should be sizzled. Just from that electric, the electric blast that big that you could visibly see, the, the current you would need, it's like a lightning bolt. It would just electrify the entire thing and like zap. Yep, 
gonna die yet? Please die. Please die. Please die. He'll die. Okay, let's give you more melee. And as you guys can see right there, there's another Deodon hurting itself on the fence I just put up. Which... I might have to put some stuff up top there to keep them away from falling in. Do I have to worry about up here at all? I don't think I see a lot of things come up this way. Seems like a lot of things avoid the top here. Um, yeah. But anyways, we're starting to get a nice, fenced-off place. This is Deodon's finally got tired attacking the wall. Okay. Ow, ow. Did not mean to fly directly into that. I just wanted to land. No. Is that a sandstorm coming in as well? Sounds like a sandstorm. Oh no, that's my... I'm an idiot. That's just my tech generator. Okay, now let's get started on the dodo birds for the pen. I only need, like, not much. I don't know. I don't need many. So, dodo birds and... What was the next one up? Raptors, I believe. Yeah, we just want regular raptors, not the tech ones. Okay, guys. Anyways, I've been going at it here for a little bit, and... I'm getting real tired, so I wanted like to go to bed. So, if you guys have liked this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe. And anyways, it's been Gunshot Mori, signing off.